And we went to the Amish uh, store and got some warm casting. And then he had the arches. They're not round, they're square. And uh, got four of those. So we cover the broccoli and cabbage up. And uh, that was a good deal. It was like two bucks. Because I was telling them I can't find the arches anywhere. I thought we were going to get them with the row cover, but I didn't. Back. I love this compost. And the good thing, we were talking about it earlier, even if even though we had to spend some upfront money, we won't have to do this next year. Okay, so now what we're doing is adding um, organic tomato, vegetable, and herb fertilizer. I've already put it on there. And some bone meal. And then we'll mix it in there. Real good. And then we're going to put the <coughs> little bit more compost and then the worm castings on it. And I just I just throw it on there, y'all. Huh? Yeah. It's got to get on there, right? So... Uh, that's our next process. Where's that rake? Right here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mix this in, and then uh, we'll put the worm casting on to mix that in, and then some more compost. Looks like we have quite a bit, so we're still good. Still good. Okay, you wanna throw the worm casting tin balls? Yeah. We're gonna put all of it on? Um, I think just the half of the bag. I should open it a little bit more, huh? Yeah, I think it should. Here, let's just put it over that so in case yeah, it spills. Thank you. There you go. I love this compost and the soil. It's it's so rich. So good for your plants too. What's going in this one? Uh peppers, tomatoes, carrots, I don't know. Some. What do you want to plant in there? I don't know, sure. Well I don't have that plant. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah. I think we could put a little bit more in there. A little more of the worm castings? Yes, please. That's okay. That'll work. It's getting full, y'all. Looking good. All right, we're going to get back to work, and we'll talk to you in a little bit. I wanted to show you what happened this week. We have one new baby there. One new baby here. No, Lily. And one baby there. 
And two of them, this little brown beauty, was born on the same day as a black one. So cute. I was watching them run and jump yesterday. It's amazing how active they are. They're all watching and supervising. We have a lot of supervisors on the homestead. All right, back to the garden we go. We have a little more soil that we're going to put in the water trough. And I'll show you what we did. One of our subscribers suggested this, and we've done this with most of our gardens. So all the stumps we had that were falling apart, we put on the bottom. I didn't have pea gravel. Honestly, I was too cheap to pay for it. But this is going to work because this is going to be an herb garden. So all the roots will be up. Even if it does have water in it, it's going to be okay. So pretty impressed. We had quite a bit more compost than I thought. What do you think, well, that's Bob? That's not what I thought we'd get. I knew we wouldn't be able to probably fill this up. Yeah. But. Hey, uh, that's pretty cool. It doesn't have to be that deep if it's going to be herbs and flowers or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Whatever you're going to put in there, so. It's perfect. <clears throat> not a big deal. Yep. So not we're gonna we're gonna put the uh, worm casting soil on there next, and wh where's the other bag? It's still oh, over there. Yep. We got to go get that. So. You're gonna put all that in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so here we go, guys. It's coming together. We're done shoveling. Yep, we're done shoveling. I think I'm going to sweep that up, though. All right, I think we'll get one more bag of soil, the worm casting, and we're going to add that into it, and that should seal that deal. And then the next thing we're going to do is it's potato day. It's time to get the potatoes in the ground. The boss is going to uh, cut a piece of silage tarp that was by one of our metal, by the metal raised bed there, because I have to get the ground cover pinned down. And then we're gonna go to the side of the house and we're gonna get the potatoes going. Oh, it's getting real. We're going to put the row cover down. These are the supports I got from the Amish nursery. We cut this in half because it was huge. 30 feet long. Yeah, it was huge. So we didn't need 30 feet. So we're going to put it over the cabbage and broccoli. And then I have the... Um, landscape pins and I'm gonna hold it down now when these grow I can lift these up and it will let them still be okay and that way the moths and all the bugs can't get to them so get these in And they still get air and all the things they need. I'll just fold this one under. Yeah. Still a little long, but it's okay. Not gonna hurt anything. And it just kind of stays up off the ground like that a little bit so air can get in. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then the, the moths, they can't get in the bad butterflies. Can't get in there and eat on your plants. So that's what's going on here. And then.
encourage you? If you have a dream, please go after it. Life is so short and make it yours, whatever it is, make it yours. while I till. <laughs> I'm trying, trying to come up with a game plan here. So there's a lot of wood chips down here. How many birds we have in here? 32? 30? Something like that. 30, yeah. 32. Something like that. There's a lot of wood chips in here. And we, we just... We butchered them in January, so we're going to have to do a little research and make sure, well, that it'll be safe to put the potatoes in here. Well, it's safe, but I mean, will they grow? Will they grow? Yeah. Yeah. Will it grow? Yeah, uh, I think they will, though. I'm, it's, I mean, it's only been four months. Yeah, but, it, you know, the honestly, The first part though, of January. It looks really... Did y'all see that? All the years I've gardened this garden, planted in this garden, it looks like a little pitcher lid. Where'd that come from? Oh my goodness. The things you dig up. Crazy. Almost done, guys. Gonna till it one more time. I'm gonna rake some of those wood chips up and then uh, we'll get the potatoes in the ground. I promise we're gonna, there's my girl supervising. Told you we have a lot of supervisors. The boss is gonna rake some of these wood chips off so I can get down to the soil soil. Like here I hit it along some of the edges, but this is so thick. So he's raking that for me. And uh, then I'm gonna till it one more time. And we will use sulfur. And we have these Kennebecs that look pathetic. I grew these last year. But you know what? I'm putting them in the ground. And then we have russets and Yukon golds. They're in the bags. So that's what's next. This is so cool. This is so, so cool. We love potatoes. And to have a different variety, three different varieties, is going to be awesome. And... Uh, Hopefully the Kennebec will grow good. You know, they're sort of wilted and <laughs> wrinkly, you know, like we like we get when we get old. But you know what? They have all this growth on them and we're not wasting them. So let's go. Brutus, why do you always want to play Frisbee when we're working? I mean, Daddy's thrown it a thousand times for you today. Really? And everyone feels sorry. Oh, Brutus wants his Frisbee. Yeah. But Brutus had his frisbee a thousand times, didn't you? Tell the people the truth. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. I forgot we had sweet potatoes, too. So that's going in, too. Yay! The boss didn't like how I was doing it, so he took over. He didn't even want to till it a second time, but it needed it. It had to, it had to happen, y'all. So I'm taking I'm taking an adult beverage break and I'm gonna supervise. Yeah. It's getting late. I've got four five rows done. Now I wanted to tell you something. I am doing so different this year. I put sulfur and alfalfa pellets down. Can you see them? And then you're gonna cover those up, mix them into the soil. And then put your potatoes down, and then you're going to cover up your potatoes. I, I'm not chitting my potatoes this year. I'm doing it this way because I want to see if we get a better harvest. Our harvest has been okay, but not great. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So 
it's okay to try something different. Don't get stuck in your ways. You know, it's got to be this way or that way. So I got to get these done. I've got a lot of potatoes to get in the ground. And I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, so she's down on the ground burying. She wants to do it like that. This I said, why not just use a shovel or a hoe? No. She wouldn't do it. She I wants to see. climb up. She wants to crawl on the ground. My hand's dirty. Yeah. So when these grow, I have the satisfaction of knowing my hands help. And that's a great reward for me. But, um, yeah, this is so cool. I'm excited to see how the alfalfa and sulfur do. And, um, we got to keep all them guys. Electric uh, netting around the garden. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we got to keep all these guys out of there. Yeah, they won't stay away. No. They like alfalfa. They like it a lot. So that's two rows. I didn't mark anything, y'all. Why they're potatoes? And we're gonna eat them. I would have marked. I I thought she should mark them, but. Oh well. And then watermelon and cantaloupe will go in the same garden. They grow amazing together. So that's what I'm doing. Where, where are you gonna put that? Down the other end there. Yeah. There ain't that much room down there. We can grow a few. She always thinks that. I always think Well, that's all I got for you right now. Y'all tried to dig up my potatoes after that whole day of hard work. So we put their electric fencing up around. Of course, it's not electrified, but... Okay, potatoes are in the ground. Thanks everyone for stopping by and watching our video and just showing us so much love. We appreciate you. Happy Resurrection Day. Y'all be blessed and love well. Bye now. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, like, share. You know all the routine. You know the drill. Bye now.